doing a meeting for my consulting business. This is my attire usually. Business in top and work apparel in the bottom. Hmm, I am getting bold. Got the new Mobile Hunter pack from Osseo in yesterday and thought I'd do a video about it today. I'm kind of excited about it and when I get excited about something, want to talk about it, that's what this vlog is for. So let's look at this pack real quick. So this is the Mobile Hunter pack from Osseo Gear. Um, I think my buddy, oh, one second here. So, my buddy Rendell, um, who you guys saw on the show actually last night, he kind of helped with this uh, this system. Uh, it's kind of a smaller version of their, I think they call it the tree stand pack, which is their bigger version of this, uh, with some modifications for like a, a mobile hunter. <clears throat> Where I could see this really shining is for you guys that are saddle hunting. Um, what's cool about it is it has these compression straps on the bottom of the the pack and the way I'm gonna run it is I'm just gonna I usually run three B sticks take them off here three B sticks right here and then I have the rod attachment method for the the three sticks uh, through the the holes of the the beast uh, B sticks and they are they're holding real tight like that also I'm gonna start trying to use these Amstil USA um, stick attachment method. I actually uh, this summer kind of wrote it off because I didn't give enough give it enough time to figure out how they actually worked and kind of over the last week since I got back from Nebraska I've been tinkering with them and kind of find out I really like them. They're pretty easy to use. What I really like about them is when we were in Nebraska I kept running into trees that were too big of a diameter to get my buckle straps around. Well these are like eight feet long. They're a lot longer. So that's a big, big plus for me uh, to use these things. They're lighter too. They are they are uh, significantly lighter than the buckle straps if you care about that. My biggest thing was I after I left Nebraska, I was so frustrated with not being able to get into certain trees that I was trying to find something uh, bigger uh, to use. And I, I have that problem in Indiana from time to time too with like the big mature trees we have like in the Hoosier National Forest. So that's what I'm going to do with this this pack is, is run these sticks um, underneath the the back of the stand of course you're going to have to have your standoffs face it out away from the pack uh, just so they're not scratching you in the back and then simply just uh, throw them on the pack like like that then they have that and then on the front they have two compression straps you can see here and I think these are called auto lock uh, uh, straps so they're super um, permanent once they're locked in they, they don't they don't move at all so um, they're super nice and the pack itself is made out of uh, the fleece kind of material that all their clothes are made out of so to the touch it's really uh, quiet now if you sit here and you know do this to the pack it sure it's it's loud because it's um, actually waterproof so it has like a waterproof membrane in it that does have a little bit of a noise to it but as far as actually like accidentally bumping it or something while you're in the stand or whatever the case may be, not an issue at all. And I, it, waterproof is really important to me when it comes to a pack because I this camera I'm filming this on costs thirty five hundred dollars. Like I, I got to have a good way of getting my cameras out of the rain whenever um, things uh, start raining or things get wet, and this will protect. My, my pack without having to do too much extra effort protect my camera without having to do too much extra effort um, when it comes to keeping all that crap safe so it is it is waterproof the zippers are are also waterproof and um, I don't know they seem like they're quality enough zippers to me I don't know much about zippers but um, yeah so that's the pack itself now as far as cubic inches I think it's like 1800 cubic inches don't quote me on that but it has a 
a, a wraparound zipper so you can actually unzip the whole thing um, and get to anything that's in here and to tell you how how much room is in here I don't know about that much <laughs> you can see um, my hand here I have a fairly good size hand and it's about as deep or as wide as my hand and then you know about up to my elbow is how deep the pockets are there are some internal pockets in here on each side you can throw some stuff in and then it has a zipper pocket so like if you're if you got this hanging in your tree stand and you want to have access to your um inside your bag you can actually run this to where this flips down and then you can open this pocket up and you can have things uh right inside here for easy access if that's something you really care about too much but that is a nice feature of the pack and then on the outside um, you got a couple of little pockets here on the side and like what I'm going to use this for is when I'm scouting um, I really I really am excited about this for a scouting pack but you can keep like SD card batteries things like that in here and then you could just keep random stuff in this pack um, on this left side there's a really big dump pouch for water bottles or whatever else you want to uh, throw in here there's some like elastic things to keep things nice and tight inside this pack I don't know exactly what that is for but you could use it for all kinds of things I, I guess uh, maybe for like a camera arm or whatever else you want to throw down in that pocket okay now I told you how I was going to attach the sticks to the bottom now I'm going to talk about the um, way I'm going to put my stand on here the B stand is going to fit right on the back side of this pack and then you can just actually take these auto lock snaps put them through the beast stand now you gotta loosen the step straps first and then strap them on pull them tight um, take the other one and then this one will just go on the outside of the pack itself these auto locks have like a little button you have to push to um, loosen up the tension on the buckles. And the second one, pull it tight. And then you actually can just run this on the pack like that. Um, so that's pretty nice really, especially for like rut hunting, like early season, uh, you could just actually probably um, get away without a pack sometimes. But during the rut, when I'm gonna set a long time or whenever I'm gonna walk in, um, to some place real far and don't want to have all my clothes on throw the clothes in the pack run the system like this nice and compact obviously um, if you're saddle hunting this would this pack is really going to shine because i got a platform right here you can literally just throw your um, platform right on the outside of the pack tighten it down and like I literally don't know how you could get any more compact than something like that if you were wanting to uh, you know you're gonna be a, gonna start saddle hunting or something or you're you're a saddle hunter so that is the mobile hunter pack from Osseo um, to be fair I haven't used it yet I've just been tinkering with it but something that I, I really like the concept of it I'm gonna use it this weekend in Wisconsin hunting to test it out and see what I like about it and what I don't like about it there's another auto locking um, auto locker over here on the side so if you do put stuff in this little dump pouch in this in the side you can tighten it down if you have a tripod um, say you're going to scout and glass in somewhere you can throw your tripod in here throw your spotter in the big bag and hit the trail or whatever you're going to go so that's the osseos new mobile hunter pack i know they ran out of them on the first shipment here but there's more coming in a couple weeks so should be able to still get get them this year if you got uh, a season coming up in october 1st maybe you can still get them before then but um so far thumbs up one other thing that it doesn't have is a um doesn't have a waist belt but the pack's small like small enough that i don't see why you would need a waist belt um i definitely feel that it's you know it's it's not necessary for something like this their bow hunter pack their bigger bow hunter uh, or tree stand hunter pack has a, a waist belt this thing though i mean I don't know if you could fit enough weight in it really to feel like you need a, a waist belt. So that's my vlog for the day. Whenever I get gear in that I like, maybe I'll share it with you guys. Um, now I got a pack for 
Wisconsin, and I'll see you guys on another vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog, and maybe something like what I packed to go on a hunting trip. So you get to look forward to that. See you guys.